Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is going to focus on inserting notes into model based definitions 3D views. To begin with, in order to create a 3D PDF file from SolidWorks with model based definition views in it, you need the model based definition add on. And then once you have the add on, you can go in and create these 3D PDFs with all the information needed in it to have manufactured. So what this is going to focus on is the different ways to get your notes into these 3D views. To begin with, you might not want to put the notes in the 3D views at all. If you have some simple general note files, you might want to bury those in the 3D template, the PDF template. So when you publish your 3D views that you see below, they'll already have the notes in the template. I, however, like to put notes inside a note view where I have a lot of more notes that you might see rather than my general notes. I also like notes that go into a specific view so they can relate to a dimension or a feature such as this triangular four note in here relating to this hole. So let's go back into SolidWorks and see how we can add notes to our 3D model based definition views. To begin with, this has no 3D views. So I'm going to go annotate this from scratch using the Dimension Expert Manager, now called Model Based Definitions inside of 2019 or later. Inside the Property Manager, still it's called Dimension Expert. I like using the auto dimensioning scheme for doing this and if this was a precision part I would leave it on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing rather than plus or minus. It's obviously not a turned part and I don't really have any polar arrayed holes or anything so I'm not going to worry about doing that. I'm going to select my primary datum, my tertiary or secondary datum, and my tertiary datum be in the front. Now I usually go in and select the features that I'm going to hold a tighter tolerance on by going into the selected features rather than all features. If you want to see some other videos on getting started with model based definition, search for my SolidWorks model based tutorials on YouTube or on our Go Engineer site and find my getting started using Sketcher dimensions in model based definition views, leveraging your 3D views for traditional drawings. I have a lot of different videos on continuing your education with model based definition. In this one I'm going to blast through it and do all features and say OK. So it really gives me all the dimensions that I want. Now generally when you first put on the dimensions it's only going to put the surfaces green if you have your show tolerance status on and it's only going to turn the surfaces green that are fully dimensioned. So I just fully dimensioned this part with the GDNT with a couple pushes of the button. That's why I like using Dimension Expert or the model based definition dimensioning schemes to put manufacturing dimensions on a part. So let's go ahead and look at what my next steps might be to start putting text in a part. I like having a view where I have all my 3D dimensions kind of pushed into one view. I'm not necessarily going to publish this into the 3D PDF file, but I play off of it. I also like having a view where I might just have my notes and not all my other dimensions put in this view. So let me go in and do one where I go ahead and say put everything but the notes and this will be my all dims view and I'm going to say OK here and then I'm going to go in and start laying out the views just like I would for a traditional drawing. I'm going to come over and note that my annotation display is set to show annotations based tree. I like that a lot better than the feature based tree for when you're doing your dimension expert or GDNT dimensioning. So with that, 
I also like expanding this out because I utilize these different annotated views a lot. I want to go activate and reorient to my bottom view. And you see my little GDNT for my true positioning of my hole is on here. And I want to go in and put some other dimensions on it that are the basic dimensions for the position. If I right click over on the position of the holes and say create basic dims, it'll put those out there. Doesn't always do a perfect job. Sometimes you want to move the dimensions around a little bit, but it could have put those on automatically if under my options, if I would have had under my document properties the dimension expert settings under geometric tolerances, this is where you find all your tolerances. But if I would have had create basic dimensions checked, it would have put those basic dimensions on to begin with when I dimensions the entire part. I want to show the basics and I might want to show another dimension in this view that is still in my all 3D dims view. So first off, let me go ahead and snap this view. So I'm going to snap my bottom view and when I snap my bottom view I only want the dimensions that are associated with the bottom to show up in my bottom view. So I have to uncheck the right and front. That way I'm assured that I'm only get the, get the bottom dimensions to show up here. Now if I go back over to my all dimensions view you're going to see there's some dimensions that are in my front view here that I really might want to put in my bottom view. So I'm showing you these steps because these are some of the same steps that you have to do when you mess up and you put your notes in the wrong view. You have to go right click on a note just like you do a dimension and then you can go tell it to set that note to a different annotation view. I want that to go to the bottom view. So now if I go ahead and go back over to my bottom view you're gonna see that that 3D dimension is in the bottom view now. Now I don't really need to recapture this view at this time. This dimension is in the view because I set it to be on the bottom view. But I like to update my views so I'll go ahead and recapture and I'll double check and make sure that it's only capturing the stuff on the bottom view. From there I'll go ahead and I'll add my note. If you're already on the bottom view all you really have to do is drag and drop your note out. But who's to say when the note was saved to the library, if you're using a library note, in which this case I am, that the library note wasn't on one of the other view planes, like the front view plane. Notice when I drag this note out here, it doesn't look like a note unless I spun it in 3D. But if I right click on it, you're going to notice that that note was saved into the library when it was in the front view plane. So if I just simply change that to my bottom view plane, there's my note showing straight on to my bottom view. Plus, it's now going to be associated only to my bottom view. So that's a good time to go ahead and either recapture the view or you could go in and add your triangle. This is still done manually. You have to associate the triangle with the right note and know that that's going to come from like your more symbols. I last used my triangle so I have it right up there and I'll go ahead and add that to that particular dimension. So now I can just go ahead and say recapture this view since my notes already in that view I, I really only want the front view and it saw that there was something in there before I changed it from another view. So it's got the front view highlighted. I have to make sure I unhighlight that. That's one of the biggest mistakes people will make because then that note's going to be showing up in a couple different views. So I'm going to go ahead and say check this here and it'll go ahead and update that with that note. Now maybe I want to go in and create another view. Let's go in and kind of finish up creating a couple more views. I'm going to activate and reorient towards this view. I'm going to go in and clean up some of my dimensions a little bit so they look a little cleaner for the PDF drawing view that I'm putting them in. And maybe on this view I want to go ahead and capture 
just the front view. So I'll go ahead and, and do that, capture just the front view. So it's only showing these notes. Now, maybe I want another view that has all my general notes in it. So let's look at how we could do that. I generally like creating a view specific for just my notes. And I don't really like it just going into the notes area. I like it going into this new view. So what you have to do for this is you have to go create a new annotated view. But before I do that, let me go down the route that most users seem to go down when they're learning how to put notes in model-based definition. Because it's also going to show you how to fix something that you mess up. So I'm going to go ahead and put another note in this front view. If I came out and dragged and dropped a set of notes that I've saved inside of here, I can go ahead and do that. And this set of notes is now in my front view. Now, if I wanted to, I could right click these notes and change them to any of my other annotated views, including my notes area. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it in my front. And I'm even going to associate my material with a custom property in here to make that associative with my model that I'm pulling up. That way, if the material changes in my model, it'll change in my note as well. Just like a live link note. And I might want to make my view a little smaller and bring this over here and clean up my dimensions a little in here. But now with this in here, all I would really need to do is go in and update this view. So if I recapture it, it's going to be recaptured with everything that's in the front, which the notes are on. So bingo, it's in the front view. But like I said, I wanted to create another view to put these notes on and separate them. So I have a completely separate view. Notice that the all views, no matter what you do, the notes kind of go into that all dimensions view, no matter what anyway, no matter really what they're set on because you've put them on the bottom. If I didn't have the notes view when I went in and snapped this 3D view, if I didn't have the notes checked, then I could go ahead and put the notes on the notes annotation view. But then they're going to be moving them off the views that I want them on. And that's what most people do when they mess up with the notes. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and escape out of that. And I'm going to leave everything in my all dimensions view. It's really all dimensions in notes. And then I'm going to continue. I've got my front my bottom view, my front view with all my notes. Maybe let's go in and quickly create a right view. So I'll go ahead and snap that. And I only want the stuff from my right view in there. So I'll snap that view. And now I come back and I say, gee, I really just wanted a front view with my notes only. So again, you have to go out and create a new annotation view for that. And when you do a new annotation view, you have to know what annotation view you might want to snap it off of. Not that you have to be active on that view, but when you go in and right click, here's the tip for creating an annotation view. You have to right click and say insert annotation view. And then you can tell it what plane that you want to look at when you're creating this annotation view. I want it to create, look at the front plane and then from here, you can go in and create that new front view. And then you can tell it what annotation or dimensions. I'll put more than just the notes in. I'll put one dimension in as well. So you could see if I wanted to move one dimension over to this view that was associated with this notes, I could. So after clicking what you want to put in the new view, you say OK but you haven't snapped that new view yet. So you have to come over to Capture 3D. I usually do this always right after creating my annotation view. And you've got to tell it which notes that you want to let in. In other words, the ones that I just put on that front view. So if I do that, and I can go in and reorient towards this front view, 
zoom in down here, get my view set, move this over, and then on this one I can say recapture and recapture just the front one. I usually even like renaming the front one here to something like front with notes only or something like that since I've got a dimension in here too I'm gonna leave that off but that's how you go ahead and create notes specifically for a particular view now I could go in and tell it in this view right here those notes are gonna be gone so I can just recapture the view because those notes are now in my front one view or my front view with notes so let me go in and just recapture this with only my front and they're not the front with notes and there you also notice after renaming this if I came in and did a recapture on on my view you'll have to tell it that you're recapturing that front with notes if you want all that stuff in there I'm gonna escape out and keep the notes the way I had them I have some individual notes for this view where I've put an associative triangle in and I've got some individual notes in my different views that you can go ahead and leverage for your model based definition document. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.